We're in Indianapolis, Indiana for first round action from the 2022 NCAA tournament. This is from the East region, the 10 seed San Francisco taking on the number seven seed Murray State. St. Peter's has pulled off a shocker 85 79 win in overtime over the number two seed Kentucky. The Peacocks are in the second round. Hi, everybody. I am Eagle Jim Spinarco, Jamie Erdahl. It's already been a wild night here in India. Jimmy, I think there's a lot of curiosity in this matchup. How these two teams match up, San Francisco and Murray State both had terrific seasons and now the intrigue really builds with St. Peter's waiting in the second round. Yeah, it's going to be a fun game, I think, because you know, when you look at Murray State, they have a balanced attack from the point guard position, the guard, shooting guard, and also the big guy down low. Yeah. So they're balanced. And K.J. Williams is one of the guys who will get the ball down on the blocks and go to work. 18 points a game with just under nine rebounds a game. Real stellar player underneath the basket. And they do have guard play also. But when you switch to the San Francisco look, they go with Jamari Bouye, who is a flat-out shooter. Their backcourt will drive their offense. They will look to shoot off screens. They'll look to bounce it off the dribble and shoot. But one thing they'll do is look to shoot. Todd Golden, he's done outstanding work with this San Francisco program out of the West Coast Conference. Let's look at the starting lineups presented by Wendy's. You mentioned Bouye, Shabazz is a factor as well, and of course, They've got some bulk up front, but playing without Yalian Masalski, who is out of this game with a knee injury. Murray State, the Racers, the best record in the field at 30 and 2. Matt McMahon, seventh year. Tremendous heights that this program has achieved under McMahon. The Racers have a chance to do something special this season in the tournament. Roger Ayers, Earl Walton, Patrick Evans, we're underway in Indianapolis. One more game to go tonight in the first round in Indy. Murray State controls the tip. Early touch, back in, Williams scoring prowess on display. And right on cue too, and it allows the full court action here and almost a steal by Brown stepping up. But Williams is a factor when he gets that ball down low. He's got touch, he's got feel. Here's a little jump hook to get his night started. The Ohio Valley Conference Player of the Year. Murray State will be moving into the Missouri Valley Conference next season, so they wrapped up their time in the OVC in style. Looking to pick up a little bit of full court action to get things going. Remember, guard play for San Francisco is key. Bouye and Shabazz interchangeable. Both can bring up the ball. Both can play off the ball. Bouye is a five-year starter. He does it all for the Dons. 2-0 lead for Murray State. Jumper, Shabazz. Side of the rim, same team, and controlled by Carter Collins. And that's a good example right there in their first set, how they play in terms of looking at handoff screens, screens without the handoff, looking for guards to be shooting the basketball. They went 18-0 in the conference this season and then won the conference tournament as well. Another catch for Williams in the post. Look at this one. Fade away. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> K.J. Williams. <laughs> the Ephus. <laughs> how do you stop that? That is a wow shot in my book. Stefanini, he's in some trouble. Double team, clears it. Josh Coonan getting the start for the injured Masalski. Bouye, that lane didn't open up. Floats it to the outside in Shabazz. Stefanini with eight to shoot. Turnaround jumper is pure. Good second set just then by the Dons. Just making sure they came back after the first set did not work. I tell you, Murray stayed a little bit like the team that just won the last game, St. Peter's. They came on the floor yesterday for practice showing a lot of confidence, Big just time. like St. Peter's did. So, Ooh, oh, Collins oh, just hurt his like ankle. Odd turn right there, all by himself. Carter Collins was just looking to dish the ball, wow. and he needs a sub. So, Trey Hannibal will check in for the Davidson transfer. Graduated from Davidson. Average 11 points per game oh. last season and a turn of the left ankle. You don't really see that that often mm. to that extent. Hannibal transfer from South Carolina can provide offense a lot of it just under nine points per game. 
Tevin Brown, one of the elite shooters in college basketball. Good Try hands. the crossover. Bouye picks his pocket. It's Coonan driving in. Coonan finishes with the offhand. Well, he just picked up at half court and found that loose ball and never stopped. He just kept going to the basket. He's one of those lefties that writes right-handed, so okay. you know he's comfortable. Drive and kick. Hannibal score it and a foul. And Murray State will come at you at different angles, but when they make their judgments, as you take a look at the injury on the sideline or tending to the injury, they really go after it and challenge you in a lot of different ways. Foul was called on Stefanini and Carter Collins in obvious pain. Not to go doctor on you right here, but a lot of times when you roll your ankle like that, you know, your ankle is almost like an elastic band where it comes back to its original spot. So over there, what they're most likely doing is they're probably retaping his ankle to secure it as best they can at this point. 6-4 lead for Murray State. Stefanini, transfer from Columbia. It's a screen from his former college teammate, Tape, who had a stop at Duke. Rolls to the rim. And it's going the other way. Tape, a little too aggressive. Hannibal, who's well put together at 6'2", 220, takes the hit. It's a nice thought by San Francisco, but you have to get the big man to stop. And it's basically the right call by rule, but that's one of my pet peeves. I mean, when a guy goes into a shot like that, he can't stop. And I know by rule that's a charge, but I would like to see them make some different kind of rule on that to give the offensive player a break. Turnover, ball up for grabs. Kunin oh. too far and high for Shabazz. Out of bounds. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code right now to download. Justice Hill, the sophomore point guard from Little Rock, Arkansas. They call him Juice. DJ Burns gets a touch. Jumper. Brown rims out. And the rebound cleared by Coonan. He's lightning with his release over there, too, with Brown. Murray State leads it 6-4. Shabazz to the outside. Coonan puts it on the deck. Plenty of time on the shot clock for Stefanini. Stefaniti, little push off, dump it inside, nice clear, rocking the rim, Patrick Tape. Yeah, Stefanini just then going along the screen, but Brown stayed with him, and he had to make a play out of that dribble and found his teammate sliding towards the basket with a good slant, slanting move. San Francisco has been terrific defensively guarding the three, holding their opponents to 29.5% from downtown. We'll see how Murray State handles that. Yeah, they shoot it at 35%. That'll be interesting. That's that part of it statistically. Williams needs some help, clears it, and it's Tevin Brown. And it's it blocked by Bouye. The follow goes. DJ Burns in the right spot for the Racers. The guy who just understands how to rebound. It's six and a half. Good spot up rebounding just then. Stefanini is fouled as he was dishing underneath. That ball is deflected out on the perimeter. And who's there? Burns. And he understands the shot clock in a hurry. What a rally, Lefko, for Creighton getting the victory. We're back to live action here in Indianapolis with Murray State in front, 8-6. to six. Early injury for Carter Collins. That jumper is way off, and now an opportunity for Brown and the Racers. Getting the step. Hannibal drives. And the rebound ripped down. Mark Ovetsky with the board. We're going to check in with Jimmy Erdahl. Yeah, Carter Collins doing his best to come back into this game. It's a left ankle injury for him right now. He did get retaped, Jimmy, like you said. He's been in the hallway wincing in pain. Can't put 100% of weight on that left side. He's trying to inch his way back up the bench, but honestly, it's going to be interesting to see what he can do when he returns. Yeah, no doubt. That was a complete turn. Yeah, and I didn't like the way he was walking to the bench either, no. Jamie. That didn't look like it was... Reassuring. I hope I'm wrong. Nicholas McMullen, a big for Murray State, has checked in. Julian Rishwain for the Dons. Jumper, Rishwain, no. Rebounded by Hannibal. Nice spin. Pretty spin. Hannibal going all the way. End-to-end <laughs> -end action and a foul called. 6-2, 220. 
He's not afraid to mix it up. No, he is strong. He is physical. He looks like a football player. He sure does. And this one after the spin. It's kind of like that running back right up the middle and needs two yards. He was going right at the big fella. Mark Ovetsky was the last line of defense. Hannibal needs a moment. Now Roger Ayers hands him the basketball. Shoots it at 70%. So Murray State fortunate to have Trey Hannibal as part of this rotation to step in for Carter Collins. Josh Coonan is back in for San Francisco. Murray State 18th NCAA tournament appearance. You think back to 2019, John ja Moran had a triple double in the first round, dominating win over Marquette. They got clipped in the second round by Florida State. Murray State was a 12 seed that year. They're a 7 seed this year. San Francisco, first NCAA tournament appearance since 1998. 24 years for the Dons. They really pressure too, Murray State, don't they? Out front, the perimeter. Look at where they're setting those screens out there. Fake by Kunin. Cutter. Markovetsky, left hand. He banks it in. Nice touch. That was a beautiful touch, and I like the fact that he didn't run over the defender in the middle of the lane and spun away from him. You do not see seven foot two, 270 pound guys look that light on their feet. Push shot goes. Justice Hill, well executed, off the glass. But after the made basket, Bouye pushing it up the floor. Yeah, you notice how Bouye had it line towards the basket, but he likes to pull it back. And a foul called as McMullen ended up on the floor. Well, watch Mark Ovetsky right here coming down the middle of the floor. He's way out at the top of the key. Little spin, little dip. That was a beautiful move. And the answer with that little upstairs, little flip off the basket of the rim for Hill. Bouye. The entry, wow. Shabazz, Ooh. deep corner, misses with an air ball. Tevin Brown makes his move, the pullback. Jumper, Williams, off the rim, no. And the jump by Kunin was in the right area for the board. Bouye, what a fake. What a jumper! Jamare Bouye with a downtown hit. Averaging just about 17 a game, Ian, and one of the things about him when he shoots the basketball, if he misses the next one, he's thinking he hasn't missed the previous shot. He's that confident a player in terms of his shooting. Murray State with a 12-11 lead. Hill, hesitation with confidence. Justice Hill, tremendous football player, was a quarterback in high school, had a lot of big-time offers. Jumper doesn't go. For Bouye. Hill sure did make that last shot look pretty easy. Wow, another spin by a big. The maneuver by Williams, and it's Mark Ovetsky with the board. Shabazz handles it. Off the double team, looking for the open man. Bouye takes the baseline, shovels it. Shabazz, too strong on a three. And the rebound ripped down by Hannibal. That's the way those two guys are almost tied to one another in terms of understanding where their shots will come in the offense. But if they're not hitting shots, that would be a long night. And both are lightning quick. Hannibal wasn't going to take on Mark Ovetsky. The jump shot doesn't go for Williams. Halfway down, out of bounds. And San Francisco gets possession. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA. Com. Matt McMahon told us this has been a special group, foundational pieces, the legendary duo of Williams and Brown, what they've meant to the program. They set the tone for the rest of the team. And I was impressed when they came out yesterday for their workout. And they were running some drills that I'd never seen before. <laughs> I'm telling you, I couldn't figure them you out. You asked him. You asked him the first drill. He said, oh, that's Argentina. I knew it was foreign to me. <laughs> We got a timeout with 12 minutes to play in this first half. Jamari Bouye. Bouya. Ha. But Justice Hill has got the answer for the racers.
Moments ago, Jamie with Murray State head coach Matt McMahon. Coach, to have the delayed start to this game, guys are waiting in the hallway to get out here and warm up. You have the injury to Carter Collins. What's the first couple minutes been like? Well, I think our guys just getting their feet underneath them. We hadn't played in 12 days, so I'm happy with where we're at. Unfortunately, I think Carter's probably done for the game, so we'll need our depth on the perimeter to come through for us. Uh, but this was a good start for us. I think we'll settle in and start playing better on offense here. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Well, that is definitely the up-to-the-minute report mm, on sure Carter is. Collins' situation. Offensive foul on Daquan Smith trying to create some space for K.J. Williams. He just checked into the game. So turnover for Murray State. Jumper, Stefanini off, slam down of the follow. Zane Meeks breaks free for the flush. A lot of times that run out three point shot to the middle of the floor freezes defenders because they're wondering where the shot's going to come, whether it's going to come or whether they're going to drive past the basket to the, the basket. The Hezzy and Hill is fouled in the act. Murray State is six of eight on two point tries. 0 of 4 from three-point territory. See, we're coming out here. They run that play pretty nicely, and then it opens a seam on this side here just to go right after it for Meeks. As they had an overload on the right side of the floor, froze them. Justice Hill, 74% shooter. Originally committed to Arkansas, spent one semester there, and transferred to Murray State. Salt Lake Community College in Utah, Junior College All-American, so the stop in between. Got some reps and has landed in a really good situation with Matt McMahon and this coaching staff. Yeah, and with Hill there and Brown and Williams, it gives them a three-dimensional look in terms of scoring. Murray State has won 20 games in a row. He's a shooter. And there it is, Zane Meeks from deep. Nice little punch for Meeks coming into this game. Transfer from Nevada. Quick five. San Francisco up by one. Jordan Skipper Brown in the game. Clears it for Smith. Smith the former starter at point guard. And now coming off the bench. Hill. Killer crossover. The floater comes up short. Hill comes away with a loose ball. Kick it out. Brown trying to get involved. Off the rim on a three. Bouye, the push. Bouye, left hand, no good. Follow, no, but a foul. And Rishwain, the transfer from Boston College, will shoot a pair. And so San Fran, like Francisco, likes to come down the floor and keep the pressure on you with the ball. And that's a terrific effort to get to that play from where Rishwain started. And Jimmy, the second foul on Tevin Brown. Rich Wayne's a 77% shooter. And we'll get some changes here. Combination of DJ Burns and Trey Hannibal checking in. So Brown will sit, as will Skipper Brown. So a foul problem for Brown. Collins with the ankle. They, they have to go deep. The last win in the big dance for San Francisco. Have to go back to 1979. Second round victory over BYU. The Dons started this season 10-0. First time they've done that since 76-77. Hill, hesitation. Oh, that's crafty. And the foul. And you notice how he's doing most of his damage on the left side of the floor. Just hesitating a bit, and then all of a sudden he comes wiggling down here as a right-handed player understands that going to that hoop. And one, once in a while, you put that ball in your right hand, even though it's on the left side of the, the basket. And it's a quicker way to get that shot up, and it hits the right into the defender pretty smoothly. So Hill at the free throw line. And he can control pace <laughs> in the half court. He's a orchestrator out there for Murray State. Eight. Lead changes, 18-18. He's got eight points to lead the racers. Well, they're having trouble getting that ball in from the out of bounds underneath their own basket, kicking it up. Bouye picked up by Daquan Smith from Holly Springs, Mississippi. Halfway point, first half. Bouye, fend off. 
It's a whole lot of bouye. <laughs> and the three ball doesn't go. A lot of standing around watching that bouye. Tied at 18. Hannibal with a purpose. Couldn't finish it. Rebound snatched on the inside. Ball fake and cleared by Burns. He compliments Williams so well on the glass. Might have been deflected. Hill misses from deep and a foul called on Daquan Smith. Trying to work the offensive glass and now Murray State is hunting three pointers. 0 of 6 from beyond the arc. Our tournament summary St. Peter's pulling off a monumental upset over Kentucky. First NCAA tournament win in school history. Lucky number 12, New Mexico State and Richmond moving on to the second round. And lower seeds have had success. Six and six so far. Nice win for Richmond fighting their way in with a win over Davidson in the A-10 championship. Second foul on Juan Smith. He draws the matchup on Bouye. Looking down low, Coonan now will send it to the other side. Hard drive, doesn't go for Rishwain, but a foul called. Well, Shaheen Holloway <laughs> came in Great shot. with the attitude that his team was going to go out and do their thing. We asked it in every which way would his team be intimidated, and he just kept insisting in the conversation yesterday, no. No, it's going to be like an open gym for them. And he was right. It's going to be tough watching some game film carrying that baby around all night long. <laughs> I think he'll handle it. <laughs> Another free throw here for Rish Wayne. The Dons finished 24 9 on the season. It's the highest seed for the Dons since 81 82 when they were seeded ninth. They're the 10 seed in the East region. Williams, catch, fire, bottom, a three. He's just figuring that Mark is not going to come out and guard him. It's going to take him a while, so if he can spot up like that, not the greatest of numbers at 34% from three, but pretty good for a guy who's 6'10". First three of the night for the Racers, 21-19, Murray State. We are under nine minutes to go, first half. They wanted to travel. Rich Wayne couldn't get it to go from the outside. Hill, head on a swivel. Williams will set a high screen. Hill, the acceleration, he's fouled. That time they got Markovetsky in the switch, trying to guard a little guy at 7 2, is not going to cut it. And here's that little pick and pop on the outside, and he knows he's going to get his shot off. It's not going to be blocked, so it makes you a much better shooter. KJ Williams, over 1,500 career points, over 800 rebounds third racer to do that Popeye Jones and Isaac Spencer the other two Williams one on one and Island with Tape jump hook no rebounded by Tape yeah pretty well defended by Pe Tape just catch him knows that he's going to go with that little jump hook and he anticipated it pretty nicely Shabazz has got Hill defending him we're going to hit the eight minute mark of this first half Bouye triple drive Bouye, tough delivery, knocked to the outside and claimed by Hill. Two-point lead for Murray State. Slow start for Bouye. Whips it inside. Burns in a crowd. Kick. Williams the feed. And a foul is called. Free throws coming up. Hotly contested first half in Indianapolis, Murray State, up by two. Game summary here in Indianapolis, the seventh seed in the East, leading the 10 seed, San Francisco, 21 to 19. Moments ago, Jamie with San Francisco head coach, Todd Golden. Coach, it seems like it took your guys a couple minutes to get their engines going in this one. Are they playing the style that you need right now? You know, we're not getting out in transition as much as I would like. I think the first four, eight minutes of the game were a little choppy. Uh, we got to get out in transition a little bit more to get uh, to get going, but I'm, I'm good with where we're at right now. Are you checking something over there? I'm looking at the scoreboard. Okay, all right, go talk to your guys. <laughs> all right, thank you. That's important. Sure is. He wants to get the pace up tempo, but I think he'd like to see his guards shooting a little better than a combined starting guards from one for nine from the floor. Todd Golden played in two NCAA tournaments at St. Mary's under Randy Bennett. 
actually made mention to us yesterday like hey you guys were on the call when St. Mary's played in Little Rock Arkansas and we both looked at him and said that's right we'd love to be remembered <laughs> it's, it's a lot of years doing this ball gets knocked away Bouye couldn't catch it and Deontay Bostic the freshman from Clearwater Florida in there for Murray State no Carter Collins ankle injury early in this game guard so far for Murray State are defending very well Hill using a Williams screen Hill gets the step ball gets deflected and a steal by Rich Wayne under seven minutes to go first half jumper is smooth for Julian Rich Wayne boy is that ever beautiful 10 seconds of basketball coming up with the steal and going down the court by yourself confidence he provides some pop off the bench for the Don six points Daquan Smith drives in finishes on the finger roll nice read there with the lane wide open first two of the night for the sophomore Smith Rich Wayne had 20 points in the tournament loss to Gonzaga, 81 to 71. Meeks gives it up. Rich Wayne, is he feeling it? Off the rim. And the rebound bounces off the hand of Hill. Out of bounds. Watch CBS Sports HQ for the best coverage of the big dance. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and much more on the free 24 7 Sports News Network. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Catch, shoot, jumper is good. Zane Meeks knocks it in from the outside. Perfectly designed and executed play just then. The guards aren't shooting it real well, but the complimentary players are stepping up. Meeks averages just under five points per game. He's got a quick eight in the first half. 25-23, San Francisco. Hill, the drive, Whoa. running one-hander goes down. There's that football player's mentality. Yeah, Fly into the basket. Rich Wayne walking the tightrope. Oh, I was going to say, if Meeks puts that one up, he's really confident. Rich Wayne, the cross, the nice. sauce, oh. and the foul. Coonan will head to the line. So you push that ball as quickly as possible. His arm kind of makes the contact, so it's a good no call, but he goes flying on that play. Foul called on D.J. Burns and Josh Coonan from Melbourne, Australia, at the line. Well, this program has a rich history. 17 NCAA tournament appearances, the first since 1998. Two titles, 55-56. You got Bill Russell, Casey Jones, Bill Cartwright, some of the great names in that's, Don's history. That's three fabulous names right there. Cartwright is the Don's all-time leading scorer. He's currently the university's director of initiatives. Smith find the open man underneath. Burns the catch. Foul call. Burns just had to wait for that ball to get to him just then. Little lob pass over the top. Just couldn't wait long enough for that ball to get into his hands so he could try to finish it off. He gets to the free throw line. And the second foul on Zane Meeks. D.J. Burns transferred from Southern. Hard-nosed, the way Matt McMahon describes it, he makes winning plays for this racer squad. 71% shooter. Substitution. Nicholas McMullen back in. K.J. Williams will sit. Foul trouble for Tevin Brown, so we have not seen a whole lot of him in this first half. Meeks, Tape, Stefanini, Markovetsky all with two, Smith, Hannibal, and Brown. Two fouls across the board. Yeah, I think Brown is just too valuable a player to put in a game, especially when it's a close when you have the luxury of saving him. Because you pick up a third foul in this first half on, you come out in the first four minutes, pick up another one, you're, you're pretty much toast for the rest of the game. Oh, Bouye is fouled. Yeah, there was that call on the floor just then. On the way up, two free throws. 
I'm wondering why it might not have been goaltending, though, because it got to the glass. Mm. It was not going to be good. No, but by rule, if it hits the glass and you take it off the glass, it's goaltending. San Francisco scoring so far 16 points for the bench, 12 for the starters. So Todd Golden getting some juice off the Don's bench so far. Mark Ovetsky will check back in. And he replaces Zane Meeks. Five minutes to play, first half, two point lead for the Dons. Sometimes with Bouye, just seeing the ball go through the hoop may help his confidence at the other end. Murray State, first team in Ohio Valley Conference history to go undefeated in the regular season and then win the conference tournament. Foul call, the physical one. And McMullen will earn a trip to the free throw line. Mark Ovetsky with his third. Season to remember for the Racers. 30 wins this season, 18 and 0 in conference play. 20 game winning streak, currently the longest in Division One. Would the coach tell us? It's fun to win, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, they dipped into the transfer portal and they got unselfish players. That's what Matt McMahon told us yesterday. The fact that Carter Collins, who got injured early in this game, stepped in understood his role scored more at Davidson Hannibal accepted his role coming off the bench toss in DJ Burns that's the program though yes that's a culture you build and you make sure you bring the right kind of person in to fit into your culture they blitzed initially ball fake Meeks boy he's playing with confidence right now did he go off the right foot just then too it's kind of like an awkward step, but it was beautiful once he got in the air. He can play the three spot, the four spot, very comfortable on the perimeter. Bank shot, no. Follow, doesn't go for McMullen. So the miss initially by Burns. San Francisco with a three-point lead. Foul called on the outside against Smith. And that is going to be number three on the sophomore. You generally go to this move here and you go off your left foot. And he goes off his right foot, which throws the timing not only so much for him as he goes off the right foot, the outside foot, but it freezes the defender also. Lucky, too, because he could have really run over the defender in that spot. San Francisco is 7 of 8 at the free throw line and tack on another for Jamari Bouye. We'll get three substitutions here as the burly Jordan Skipper Brown checks in. As mentioned, the third foul on Smith. He's joined by Trey Hannibal. And K.J. Williams back for the final four minutes of this first half. The Dons 32, the Racers 28. First round action from the East Region in Indianapolis, Indiana. Murray State just one of seven from three-point territory. Hill swing off the double team. That one clanks off the rim and a foul called against San Francisco. Meeks looking around. Tight one in this first half as Meeks picks up his third. 32-28, San Francisco in front of Murray State. And now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the day. Beautiful follow up there right there. And I love this play here in the open floor. Settle yourself, look up, find out that nobody's in front of you and take your shot and transition. Beautifully, beautifully done by Meeks. Meeks and Rich Wayne have played a large role in this first half for the Dons. Free throw is good. Jordan Skipper Brown transferred from Eastern Illinois. So this was an in-conference transfer. He crushed the racers, racers last season, 14 points, 10 rebounds, four blocks, and then they were happy to have him on their side. Why not? Missed a month with a foot injury. So Skipper Brown gives his team some added depth up front. 32-29, the 10 seed San Francisco in front. Tape gives it up for Bouye. Eight to shoot. Defense there from Bostic. Now they show two defenders. 
Bouye hangs, can't hit. Yeah, maybe a little too much. I know he's a one-on-one -on -one player. Bouye, a five-year starter for this team. He is one of seven from the field. Three minutes to play, first half. Nice screen inside. Bostic, double team, pivots. Trying to clear. Oh, man, I thought they were coming at us. <laughs> I did not. You did not. I did not move. <laughs> Julian Rishway is called for the foul. No, nothing bothers you about <laughs> I'm unfazed. You didn't feel it a little? No. No, not at all. All right. <laughs> I know it's late night, Jimmy. Well, I was right by his left shoulder. I mean, look at <laughs> yeah, all that I know, space. But momentum. If it was game one, maybe I'd move. <laughs> game four, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> Hannibal at the free throw line. Well, just to let you know, if they come at us, I'm bailing. Dude, I've worked with you for 24 <laughs> yeah, years. I'm I bailing. know you're bailing. 32-30 <laughs> San Francisco. Another free throw here for Hannibal. Cuts it to one. That court has not been a problem for San Francisco. One for ten with their starters so far. So the defense continues to step up for Murray State. And the step in by Hill, but Shabazz takes it right back. Whips it ahead. Rish Wayne couldn't get a clean shot off, so he backs it out. Good defense there, rotating over Hannibal. Bouye gives it up. The slam by Kunin. Good decision, too. I think Bouye recognizing that, you know what, I can put the ball on the floor and get where I want. I need some other guys to really help me out, make my life just a little bit easier so I don't have to force the action. 34-31, San Francisco in front. We approach two minutes to go in this first half. Again, they show a double to Hill. Flip it up. Oh. And even for the ultra-athletic Trey Hannibal, that was too high. So work in the action here and wait for your guy to cut. Just help one another out a little bit. A little bit more team ball for San Francisco. Largest lead either side has been four points. We knew this would oh. be a highly competitive game. It's living up to it. Yeah, when there's four minutes left in this game, I think you're going to be basically saying the same thing. Bouye makes his move. Rolls off the rim, but he's going to the free throw line. Coming up, AT&T at the half, scores and highlights this first day of the big dance field of 64 after the first four took place in Dayton. All the NCAA tournament news, it's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Bouye will get a second attempt. Improved shooter through the years with this Don's program. And now with a minute 49 to go, first half, Matt McMahon will trust his senior, Tevin Brown, who's playing with those two fouls. Well, it's a big risk, in my opinion. No points. He's 0 of 3 from the field. Talking about a 17-point score. Brown comes to the ball, drives. And puts it in off the window. See, I, I, that's a great move. There's no question about it. But somebody gets in a position to step in front of one of those drives. I don't know if it's worth the risk. Bouye, short. And it's rebounded by Brown. Good Whips look. it ahead. Wow. Skipper Brown, big finish. Well, I guess the coach knows what he's talking about, huh? Beautiful pass and a bucket by Brown. Tevin Brown has come in and made things happen quickly. Sixth tie of this first half, 35-35, one minute to go. Shabazz, small against the big. Tape dishes to the outside, and Rishkin, shot clock winding down. There's a mismatch, go to it real fast. They're going to run out of time. Shot clock violation. Kunin, short. Might be the best pass of the day that we've seen on that break right there. Watch this release. Get it, squeeze it through a couple of players, and put it right on the money. Beautifully done. Not a bad finish either. Tevin Brown has worked hard on his all-around game. Remember, he did play with John Morant, sharing the backcourt. Hard drive, denied, 
Hannibal clears. Jumper, Williams, short. Rebounded by Brown, 30 seconds left. Corner J, Hill, too strong. Rebound knocked up in the air and claimed by Rushway. Oh, a battle for it, and it's a foul called. Rishwain lost the ball. Skipper Brown gets bumped, and a foul assessed to Rushwain. That's his second. So the excess boat, there's a nice strip, like pushing. Oh, this, is, this, this is setting up for a great second half. Really setting up for a great second half. Jordan Skipper Brown back to the free throw line. 44% shooter from the line. Lefty who's highly skilled, Little Rock, Arkansas native, 6'6", 230. Deontay Bostic will check in, and that'll do it for Brown. So they yep. got what they needed, yeah, and now don't take punch. any chances. Well, because it's a defensive possession mm -hmm. here. 23.5 on the clock. That first free throw shot did not look like a 44% free throw shooter. Not that didn't either. It was a soft shot. Just rolled off yeah. the rim. 36-35, Murray State. 17 seconds left, first half. Bouye okay. has struggled with his shot. He's one of eight from the field. But here comes the high screen, though, to try to give him some space. Tape sets it. Bouye, four seconds. Wants to dance. Wow. Steps in. <laughs> puts it home. At the buzzer. Jamari Bouye with the creativity. Boy, is that an understanding of your talent level, what you can do, and a mental approach to watching the shot clock at the same time. Just the patience to be able to work the move, don't hurry it, and watch at the very end of this ball fake and split it. Boy, that's a nice little floater to boot. Meeks leading the way with 10 points. San Francisco up by one. Back with more in a moment. Back in downtown Indianapolis, second half action ready to go. Let's check out the great clips first half stats. One of ten from three point territory for Murray State. San Francisco gets a bucket right before the buzzer and they get 18 bench points in that first half. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarkle and Jamie Erdahl. Uh, we've been doing this tournament for so long. Yep. Sometimes you look on paper and you say before a game this is going to be a great matchup and it doesn't live up to it. Right. This one has been everything we thought it would be. It's a pick em game. Yeah, it's going to be a the last three minutes of this game is going to be a lot of fun if it goes the way the first half did. But San Francisco's guards have to start shooting a little better, more opportunistic in terms of getting things done. But Meeks made himself a factor in that first half with that three. And then I love that shot off the outside foot, the right foot a little off balance, but finished it off. Now let's send it over to Jamie. Well, I think halftime came at the right time for Todd Golden, really for both coaches, very frustrated with how tight the game was called in the first half. Both happy to have personal fouls reset to start the second half. For Todd Golden, though, he felt like they allowed Murray State to get downhill too much. He wants to bring those defensive guys back into the paint. For Matt McMahon, he said, I believe K.J. Williams can be a really tough matchup for them. I just need him to hit a shot or two. He'll continue to give him the green light, but he also wants to get to the bucket. They're pretty much saying, the same thing is frustrating each other. It's funny how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> Two highly thought of young coaches. McMahon is 43 years old in his seventh year. Golden 36 years old in his third season. 23 total fouls called in the first half. Sometimes it's the players, not the officials, too. Dons have the basketball to start this second half. Stefanini was in foul trouble. Uses a high screen from Tape. Goes cross court for Kunin. Jumper on the way. And it's rebounded by Hill. Quick release, but I didn't think he really caught that ball cleanly. Hannibal missed it on the maneuver underneath. He has stepped in for the injured Carter Collins. Suffered a left ankle injury very early in this game. Khalil Shabazz, senior from Seattle. Yeah, Collins with under two minutes of action. What a shame. The bounce, Tape, the kick, same spot, same result for Kunin. It's off the side of the rim. Hill rushes ahead, gives it up for the cutter. DJ Burns with a deuce. Getting it out in transition. When you get a guy who's 6'7 like that, can run the floor, really took off at the right time to get a good angle down the floor, 15 feet away from the hoop. Brings energy and toughness, described as a catalyst for this racer squad. Jumper in and out for Stefanini, and cleared by KJ Williams. Hannibal handles it, high screen. 
Hannibal continues on the drive, looking for someone to pass to. It's Williams. Unlimited range, short from Tevin Brown. And Burns with the reach around foul just then, out of position on the offensive glass, one you just want to get away from. Nice little dish as they run the floor. Murray State getting out in a hurry with Burns finishing that one off. And the Racers lead by one. San Francisco had the same starting five for the first 32 games of the season, but the knee injury to Masalski ended that streak. Bouye. Rims out. Rebound controlled by Bouye. He's two of ten from the field. Came in shooting at 47%. Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking he's going to go away, though. Mismatch. Bouye there turns the is. corner <laughs> he's and going. scores on the drive to the rim. He's not leaving, Ian. <laughs> he's, he's here to stay. 39-38. He's got 11 points to lead the Dons. Swing. Brown using the Williams screen. Spread it now with Hill to the post. Williams turns. Tape gets in there for the steal. Two on one. Shabazz break opportunity. Put home the follow by Coonan. Smart play by Coonan too just then. You have numbers going down. You could have stayed at half court and watched that play, but he follows it down, finishes it off, gets a rewarded with a bucket. He started 21 games last season coming off the bench in this year's iteration of the Dons. 41-38, San Francisco. Hannibal inside, gets it to go, and the foul. We spoke about him in the first half, and he goes after you, and you can see him watch his left arm push it a little bit. He comes back a second time, pretty close to an extension there on the move, and he's searching out bodies with his frame. And that's the first foul on Kunin. So the strong Trey Hannibal, who averaged 26.8 points per game as a senior at Hartsville High School in Elliott, South Carolina. Over 1,500 career points at the high school level. And he converts the three-point play. Did you say he had 62 points in his final high school game? I didn't say it. <laughs> but I believe it. He did. Yep. <laughs> That's wild, isn't it? It is. It's a month and a half for a lot of good scores. <laughs> Josh Kuhn into the bench. Zane Meeks is in. Provided a serious lift in the first half for San Francisco. Bouye, switch, switch back. Rish Wayne. He and Meeks entered together. Meeks back outside. Shot clock down to three. A deep one. Oh. Bouye! He's here to stay, and that was long range just then. Let's see if that one warms him up to get control of this offense and get his game going again. Four for 12, but I believe he's thinking he's one for one right now. Just hit that from Carmel. <laughs> Getting the roll, Trey Hannibal. And a chance at another three-point play. Well, one guy's style is to go deep and let it rip. And then you have another who wants to mix it up a little bit. Here he comes again. Look at that extension. Not afraid to take a hit. And the third foul on Rishwain. So Hannibal has stepped in for the injured Carter Collins and providing offense 11 points. Season average just under nine. We're tied at 44. Did have his career high about three weeks ago, which was 20 points. Eighth tie. Murray State is the seventh seed. San Francisco is the tenth seed. We're in the East region. The drive blocked on the inside. KJ Williams with the rejection. Hannibal dishes. Oh, look at rolling this. Rolling oh. around and off. It wouldn't go for DJ Burns. That was a beautiful block, though, wasn't it? Down this end with right. Locked up at 44. Bouye, the stop and go. The spin, the deuce. Yeah, that one long crank. He's, he's now in this game. A little drive to the basket. 
Long range shot and another drive. All of a sudden, he's taking control. He changes speeds really <laughs> well. He does. 16 points for Bouye, two point lead for USF. Catch, delivery, burns. He tried the crank, and it's out of bounds. 15 08 to play in regulation. Around the world. Uh, stop. Nope. And out. <laughs> Bouye, yeah. beautiful maneuver. Yeah, make it happen. Back in Indianapolis, San Francisco has a young man on its team, Volodymyr Markovetsky. He is from the Ukraine. His heart is breaking as he plays in this NCAA tournament. He's from the western side near the Poland border. His family has been separated back home. Dad has stayed home to serve as a police officer in his hometown. His mother and sister have made it safely to Lithuania. He has found support from his entire team and particularly his European teammates to stop the war. They wanted to send a simple message. Johan Masalski and Dmitry Rivni, both from Belarus, they are roommates and they have told him that we have your backs and it's just a beautiful message as he goes through this. Yeah, no doubt about it, Jamie. And, you know, obviously we hope everybody is okay. We've got an injury on the other end of the floor. Right now, San Francisco takes advantage with the man up. And slow to get up is K.J. Williams. Five on four, they get the bucket and the foul. Yeah, a little bit of traffic, and let's see if he gets his hands down. Yeah, it just looks yeah. like he fell on yep. the small of his back. Yep, usually you want to try to get your hands down as quickly as you possibly can to brace your fall. So Williams makes his way to this end of the floor. A free throw coming for Tape. Burns just picked up his third foul, so that's another big for Murray State. And he has to head to the bench, replaced by Skipper Brown. Tape, a 74% shooter. And the rebound snagged by Hannibal. And Williams running down the floor, you can like say in his face, saying, oh man, this, this hurts when I'm running a little bit. Spin move. Hill drives in, dishes, foul called. Skipper Brown will head to the strike. Williams was actually a, a factor setting up a screen in the middle. Well, this is what Jamie was talking about with Masalski, who is not available because of the knee injury. Markovetsky there in the middle, and Reevney. You know, the idea that Vova, as he's known, just looks at his phone every few minutes to see if there's an yeah. update. A lot, dif lot different than us looking at our phone. No, yeah. no comparison. Yep. Now the fact that his mom and sister got out into Lithuania and the concern obviously for his dad who is a police officer in Ukraine. Offensive rebound and there was a partial block on the inside and it's going the other way. Bodies are flying as Bouye takes the hit. And that was a heck of an effort, too, by Skipper Brown just then. I mean, he put the crunch on the player just then, Bouye, but he shot the free throw. Largest lead either way has been four. Catch, jumper, Shabazz off the side of the rim, rebounded by Skipper Brown. Six minutes gone by in the second half. 48-45, San Francisco in front. Shabazz has gone scoreless. He's 0 of 5 from the field. Brown hasn't gotten many touches either. Hill trying to turn the corner. Double team. Oh, what a steal. Shabazz steps in with the thievery. And at the same time, seeing a teammate and forcing it to him. Bouye. No. Rebounded by Brown. Yeah, let's see if he gets more involved here on this possession. He's got that look in his eye. Yeah, he does. Brown gets a bump, tosses it up, nearly goes down but he will head to the free throw line. I think he's sensing that it's his time to get involved in the offensive end. Can the world's most advanced super soldier save Earth from the Covenant? It's an excellent question. Find out in the new original series, Halo. Streaming March 24th exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Markovetsky will check in. 
Rishwain has been called with his fourth foul. So he's got to head to the bench. Meeks joins him there with three. Toss it in, Williams. Jumper, Brown had to hesitate. Short, Williams, offensive rebound. Green light, jumper goes, Tevin Brown. Yeah, that hesitation on the first shot, you were right on it, Ian, because that's what caused it to be just a touch short. Then he knew he had the rhythm going into that stride to the right side. We are tied at 48. Stefanini, open look, Kunin misses from three-point territory. And K.J. Williams with the board. Yeah, 32% from there, and they're kind of letting him have that. He's finding that shot, but they're giving it to him. Look at this drive. Hannibal <laughs> puts it down. Oh. Trey Hannibal going upstairs <laughs> for the racers. A little bit of an explosion at the very end of that drive. 50 to 48, Murray State, and there's the tie. Bouye has got the ability to score from anywhere. Oh, I look at this drive, and he tries to dunk it on two guys. A little bit of a squeeze dunk just there, but watch this finish with some strength. Time now for Thrilling Drives, presented by Nissan. A little bump action going towards the hole right there. Boy, Hannibal really puts the meat on people and finishes it off. Not afraid to mix it up, and he gets results. Good combination. Ten ties, ten lead changes. And we're knotted up at 50 apiece. Hill takes it strong, blocked on the inside. Markovetsky was there defensively for San Francisco. Bouye lines it up. Off the rim, Hill taps it towards the rim and controlled by Skipper Brown. It gets it ahead for Daquan Smith, who's back in there for Murray State. Wow, that was quick. Smith's jumper. He cans it, a three. You take a chance out front, you come up with a near steal, but if you come up empty, that's what happens. You give up an open opportunity. 53 to 50, Murray State. The answer for Meeks, no. Rebounded by Hill. Real good box out by Williams. Keep Markovetsky off the blocks offensively. Only losses this season for Murray State came to East Tennessee State and Auburn. Swing. Williams. He's lethal. Well, he's lethal because he's all by himself out there. Markovetsky just can't find him. This is the biggest lead of the night. Wow. Six. Ooh. The explosion by Bouye. Did not take him long at all to break that down off the dribble. He's got 20 points to lead all scores. All of a sudden, his numbers are starting to look good. Shooting two, seven of 18, creeping up there. Shabazz defending Hill. He gives it up. Williams, he carried it. Yeah, he sure did. Really good action tonight here in Indianapolis. Smith with the downtown hit. And Williams gets in on the act as well for the racers. Indianapolis, Indiana, first round of the 2022 NCAA tournament. This is action from the East region. Seven seed Murray State, 10 seed San Francisco, and the Racers up by four. Stefanini for the Dons gives it up for Shabazz. Yet to score. Tape hands it off. Shabazz rims out. And the rebound tracked down by Skipper Brown. Shabazz is now 0 of 6 from the field. Yeah, just a simple set two with the weave action out front, waiting for a little bit of a breakdown, and they got it. He just cannot get one to go for him. Transferred from Central Washington in 2018, Division II. Broken nose against Gonzaga. That jumper won't go for Brown. Quick turnaround with that release, though, too. Get into it quickly here with Shabazz. They bunch up the area. No look. Tape, kick out. Open jumper, doesn't go for Meeks. And the rebound to Skipper Brown. We are past the midway point of this second half. You have to believe that Bouye is saying to himself, I gotta take this thing over a little bit more. Last five minutes he did that. Last few trips he's been quiet. Skipper Brown hands it off. Hill, swing, Smith, blocked on the outside. Bouye slapped out of the hands of Williams. 
And it's going the other way. Sunday, April 3rd, it's music's biggest night. Trevor Noah hosts the Grammys live from Las Vegas Sunday, April 3rd on CBS. We've been fortunate to hear the music of John Baptiste throughout the night, part of the Stephen Colbert Show, and nominated for 11 Grammy Awards. You'll be hearing from John Baptiste throughout the NCAA tournament. Great stuff. San Francisco has missed seven straight three-pointers. They trail by four. Neither team has shot it well from long range. Bouye setting up his man Hill, hangs and hits. Jamari Bouye taking over. He understands when to mix it up very well, and I just love the fact that he could come through the lane and kind of freeze that ball in his hand to make sure it's not going to get blocked. A little bit of a delay going to the basket with it up in the air. Two-point lead for Murray State. Swing it, pass. That's step in, one. Rich Wayne takes it in for two, we're tied. Yeah, just a little bit of a freeze just then against Hill, looked over his right shoulder, I think just to slow Hill down a touch. That was a dangerous pass and they paid for it. The 11th tie of the night, we've had 10 lead changes, the largest cushion either way has been six in favor of Murray State. Hill off the dribble handoff, high archer, good and a foul! Justice Hill has got the touch. Sometimes the handoffs are just done just to get a handoff. But watch this handoff in terms of the way he finishes his coming to the lane and then goes up that imaginary ladder with just a tiny bit of a floater. But that was all set up by Skipper Brown giving him a nice position handoff out front. Hill can match his season average. Tape is called for his third foul. Rims in. 13 for Justice Hill. Three-point lead for Murray State. We approach eight minutes to go in regulation. Bouye for Tape. Being guarded on the outside by McMullen. Now it's Shabazz with 10 to shoot. High screen, Meeks. Shabazz runs into the big. Skipper Brown. Meeks makes his move. Tough pass. Tried to dump it inside. It goes right through the wickets. There's a good pass here. Ahead, the strip by Shabazz, and a foul is called. Boy, that was a great look up the floor, trying to steal two points on that one. Defensively, though, working it out. Thought he had the layup. He got hacked across the arm with no call. Skipper Brown is going to be shooting a pair when we come back to Indianapolis. First round in the East region. Game summary, Murray State up by three. Both teams hovering around the same number in field goal percentage. Ten turnovers for the Racers. San Francisco's taking advantage. 14 points off of those turnovers. Free throw from Skipper Brown. Check in with Jamie. Quick but not fast. That's what Todd Golden continues to preach to his players. He wants to avoid stagnant possessions on offense, rebounding huge down the stretch here. He was incredibly calm but positive with these guys. He feels like they're in the best position possible right now. And Jamie, his team is getting out rebounded 35 to 26. And a 44% free throw shooter just put two away. That extends the lead to five under eight minutes to go. Bouye, kick out. Meeks, swing. Rishwain, the zigzag. Rishwain lets it fly. Off the rim, no. Rebounded by Brown. Into the hands of Hill. Murray State up by five with possession. Call from Matt McMahon along the sideline for the Racers. Hannibal. Out on the perimeter, Hill comes to the ball. Good step back. Fake, drive, floater, no. Cleared by Shabazz. Look to motor ahead, he gets cut off there by Skipper Brown. San Francisco has missed its last eight three-point attempts. Tape. Nice little baby hook for Patrick Tappé. Yeah, at 6'10", he has the size advantage down low, and that was a terrific set by San Francisco just to make sure they didn't hurry into one of those quick plays. Nice touch around the rim, six points, four rebounds 
for the six foot 10 inch 240 pound Patrick Tappe. Hard drive. Hannibal gets it to go. He's been incredible with his drives. Somehow you wonder how he's getting the shot off with all the traffic and the contact that he's creating. He's got 16 points to lead the team. Bouye probing, backs it out. We're going to hit the six minute mark of the second half. Shabazz makes his move. Shabazz, the drive, put home. Tape with the tape. Very nicely done. It's pretty good late night for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting into the witching hour, Jimmy. Murray State up by three. Hannibal, oh, nearly lost yeah. it going behind the back. Brown in a matchup with Bouye. Jab step, dish, little hot, handled. Skipper Brown saves it, jumper, no. Rainbow delivery doesn't go for Hill, and the rebound to Meeks. Yeah, that was a good grab by Meeks just then, too. Had to go find that one. They show defensively, Bouye lines it up. Off the heel, box out by Skipper Brown. Now look for Bouye to mix it up a little bit. Put the ball on the floor and go towards the basket a touch more as they want to talk things over. Timeout called by Murray State. Three-point game with 5.01 remaining. So you, you drive it strongly. Here's the one with Pape finishing that off. And here's that little jump hook. He just works his way into about three feet to finish that one. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code right now to download. Murray State 63, San Francisco 60. Last loss for Murray State was on December the 22nd, 71 to 58 to Auburn. St. Peter's has already advanced to the second round. They'll meet the winner of this one on Saturday. Burns hands it off. Hannibal, aggressive. Trey Hannibal hard to the hole. And a little tricky play there by Williams in the middle of the floor, too, setting not a moving screen, but one that kind of caught up a couple of players in the traffic lane. 65 to 60, 18 points for Hannibal. Collision out front. Jumper doesn't go for Rich Wayne. And the rebound tossed to the wrong team. Brown drives in, can't finish it, but a foul. Tape was trying to keep it alive and yeah, losing his balance a little bit, I he thought. He was too, stumbling right? a bit. Yep. And he couldn't get it to his teammate. Brown steps in and now will shoot a pair. So if that was Rishwain, that's it. And he's done. Fifth foul on Julian Rishwain. And they're going to miss his perimeter presence. 44% three-point shooter. He's now on the bench for San Francisco. Masalski comes over with words of encouragement. Free throw, no good. 76% shooter, Tevin Brown. So Rish Wayne is done for the night with eight points. Second one for Brown. Murray State up by six. Still looking for this guy to drive it a little bit. Oh, Bouye, there he goes. Bouye oh, stripped of the wow. ball, take it away, DJ Burns. Get it ahead. Brown, bam, a three. That is a huge turnaround of events. Thought Bouye was going to have an opportunity to get somewhat closer to the glass. It's stripped by Burns, and they come down, and Brown makes you pay big time. Here's the strip, and watch the release. He gets down in a hurry to your left here, looking at it, drills it. Big bucket in separation. All right, left go. Murray State's got a nine-point lead on San Francisco, trying to pull away here. Oh. And a shot to the head. 
Hannibal took it. Foul is called against Murray State. And it's going to be Hannibal picking up his third. Yeah, he picked up the foul and double whammy here as he gets whacked also as he comes around the screen there by Meeks. Toss it in, Stefanini. The Dons have missed their last 10 three-point attempts. Meeks gives it up. Shabazz thought about it. Tight defense there from Hill. Shabazz is fouled. 338 mark of the second half. Coca-Cola, zero sugar, the best Coke ever. Like the goat. Is this fact check? Debate the goatness. It's only the 15 foul on Murray State just then. Toss it in, Tape. Hands to Stefanini. Burns picked up that last foul. Tape rocks the rim. A little delayed cut out front by Tape. Stefanini with a beautiful delivery, too, to get some things going towards the basket. As you touched on, Ian Ash struggling from the outside. Tape is 5 of 5 from the field. He's got 10 points. The Murray State lead is 7. Hannibal turns the corner and lost it going to the rim. Good defense as they met him at the basket. Open look. Stefanini, bottom. It's a three. Yeah, that was just patience. Beautifully run just then in terms of Boye giving up the basketball, not rushing down the floor, but finding Stefanini with the wide open shot. 69-65, Murray State. Under three minutes to play. They got to find an answer right now and get back into their rhythm, Murray State. Hannibal hands to Brown. Shot clock at seven. Brown takes a peek at the clock. High screen. Williams sets it. Foul out front. Ooh. And a bailout. Murray State had three seconds to work with, and they were 30-plus feet away from the rim. It's Tape picking up his fourth. Here's that extra pass in rhythm. And you get a shooter wide open like that. He's going to knock that down. 36% from the three-point stripe. And Tevin Brown at the free throw line. One of two tonight. Front end of the one and one goes down. Rishwain has fouled out for San Francisco. Tape has four. Burns with four. And then Hannibal and Smith, three apiece for Murray State. 2.31 on the clock. Six point lead for the Racers. Stefanini handles it, goes behind the back, takes it all the way in, and he's fouled. Tevin Brown was there defensively trying to block Stefanini at the rim. That's number three. They're trying to get the ball out of Bouye's hands, and they're doing that by staying right on top of him. It gives him an opportunity to drive to the basket. And he gets hit across the right arm just then. So he's going to probably have to step it up a little bit off the dribble to help out in the backcourt. He is from Bologna, Italy, came to the United States at 16 years old. Played high school basketball at Bergen Catholic in New Jersey. 81% shooter. Coonan back in. He replaces Meeks. Yeah, came up big time short on that. Fifth year junior oh. doesn't get the roll. Murray State maintains the six point lead. We come up on two minutes to play. Hill makes his move. Down low, Burns gives it up. Ball gets deflected, so Hill can go back and get it with 14 to shoot. Shabazz there defensively. Double team comes. Williams, hard drive, left hand. K.J. Williams with a big time finish. Yeah, and he went bouncing off the court. Remember before, about seven minutes ago or so, game time, he went down pretty hard on his back. Moving pretty well now, though. It's going to have to happen soon for San Francisco. Down by eight. Jumper. Shabazz! Shabang! <laughs> Did he answer that quick enough for you? A three. First points of the night. And a clutch bucket for the Seattle native. Williams with the motor running that end of the floor. And then when they need an answer, the pull-up Jay. 
The first round continues tomorrow. The Nissan NCA tip off show on True TV at noon Eastern and then 16 games across TBS, CBS, TNT, True TV tomorrow. You decide the games to watch. So buckle up and get ready for more first round NCAA tournament action. And I had a long time ago in this game, Carter Collins hurt himself. He's an 86% free throw shooter, turned the ankle. They'd love to have him on the floor at the end of this game. Obviously not playing, though. And another ball handler right. for Murray State. So it's Brown defended by Stefanini. 128 to play, five-point lead for the Racers. So this is the big possession before they have to turn this into fouling. Brown makes his move. Kick, Williams gives it up. Hill, shot clock winding down. I don't think he got that one off. They run out of time. Yep. Shot clock violation at the 109 mark. Empty trip for Murray State. Well, when you need a stop, uh, they went to work. San Francisco. Yep, didn't get that one off. You don't need a quick hitter. You need a good shot right here. Meeks. Just keep yourself alive. Checks back in for the Dons. San Francisco trailing by five. The move. Bouye is fouled. With 59.8 to play, Jamari Bouye heads to the free throw line. I know he got fouled on that shot, but if you can catch his reaction at the end of it, he goes up again, delays, and watch his face, see his reaction. Mm. It's just like, I can't believe I missed that. How could I have missed that shot? And that's number four on Trey Hannibal. Bouye just a tad under 76%. He's now five of seven at the free throw line. 23 points to lead all scores. Offense defense here. Kunin checking back in for USF. No timeouts remaining for the Dons. Bouye makes a pair. It's going to be interesting to see the way they play this. Obviously with three three point differential way too early to do anything. Just need a good, solid stand-up defensive effort right here. That was a legal maneuver. Yep. Brown tossing to Hill along the baseline. Yep, live. 50 seconds to go. Murray State up by three. Spot in the second round in a matchup with St. Peter's awaiting the winner of this one. Ten to shoot. Here's the matchup right here. Brown against Stefanini. Shocked if he gives this ball up. Brown, drive. Oh. Out of bounds. Oh, they're going to look at that. Two seconds remain on the shot clock. Great step in defensive help right here. Watch the step across. They initially indicated Murray State possession. Yeah. <laughs> so Brown tosses it up after Tape got a piece. The question, yeah, I, did Brown momentum take that, right? Carry it there. Yeah. Fingertips. Yeah, because think about Brown's coming towards the basket. He's trying to draw a foul and get this ball as close to the basket as possible so he can get a call. Let's take another. Okay, so he still has his hand on it. I think he touched it last. Right there. If there's no foul call, which there wasn't, Was it? then that's a clean play by Tape. And Tevin Brown was just trying to control it. The backward sound, the background sounds of Doja Cat entertaining <laughs> us <laughs> for this extended viewing. I was wondering about that. Yeah. Gene Sterator joins us right now. Gene, what did you see? Really, really close play, yeah. and you know we have to remember. And you already said it, Ian. Uh, you know the call on the court is huge right now. When you get these in slow motion, they feel a certain way, and you've got to follow every frame of this to see where we go with it as it goes. To me, at that point, mm. it feels like the left hand of the of the Murray State player has the basketball. But you have to have a completely inconclusive view, right? 100% to change this. I'm sorry, uh, to, to be able to flip that. I'm not sure they're in to that realm right now where they have all total evidence to see. You can see Roger Ayers re requesting now a view from up above 
He's trying to look at every angle and I know at times we get a little frustrated because it takes so long. This is a huge play and you've got to look at every angle you can possibly get before you want to make your decision. Well we saw that in the earlier game right. of this night session with Kentucky and St. Peter's and they have seen enough and they're going to give the ball to San Francisco last touch by Tevin Brown and I think that last look gave us and Roger Ayers just relayed the message to us Tevin Brown off of his hand out of bounds and I think it was that last angle that basically convinced them Murray State 73 San Francisco 70 you have time to go to the basket if you have an opening San Francisco has not shot the three well tonight collectively one second differential shot clock the game clock step back jumper Booyah! got him tie game 27 points for Bouye 10 seconds to play timeout called with 9.3 Jamari Bouye. Well, he started out slowly in this game tonight, but he is finishing very strongly. Little step back. Boy, not even out of control, just totally in control in terms of taking a good look, knowing exactly what he wanted to do. And there's an excited San Francisco bench. Murray State will have an opportunity to walk out of here with a win. Don't forget, after all the games are over, join Nabil Kareem, Seth Davis, Rex Chapman, Frank Martin, Candace Parker. They've got the highlights, the analysis inside March Madness presented by Buick. It's later on tonight, only on True TV. Jamari Bouye, the leader of this San Francisco squad. He's got 18 in the second half. Little fend off on Hannibal to create enough space yeah, for the open look. that legal step back, which is so difficult to defend. I didn't phase him at all. St. Peter's got the surprising win over Kentucky in overtime. They are waiting the winner of Murray State in San Francisco. You're Matt McMahon. What's your thought process here? Well, I would watch for Brown taking the ball out of bounds over here. That's going to be a decoy, but you have a couple of different options. I think also you have Hill, who has that clear ability to go by people and get to the basket. So you get it in his hands and let him create an opportunity and watch for the dump down to Williams at the end. Eight seconds left. Tied at 73. Hannibal off the double team. Two seconds. One second. They're not going to get a shot off. Overtime. Disjointed set yep. for Murray State. And we will have an extra session in Indianapolis. And I and in these types of situations, clearly you want to get a shot off, but the worst thing you want to go to is overtime. You don't want to turn it over and have it go the other end. So that was disjointed is the right word. Nothing really happening there. And guess what? Back to back overtimes. We'll have it for you when we <laughs> come back. This overtime is made possible by Buffalo Wild Wings. Indianapolis has been the site, and it's been a tension convention <laughs> in the nightcap. It sure has been. Louie with some big time shots. And as I touched on a moment ago, he did not really start out with a hot hand at all. He was struggling early in this game. And check these numbers out. Nine in the first half, 18 to finish off the second half, and something tells me he's going to be involved here in the overtime. Bouye has played in the most games in Don's history. He's playing his fifth year with the program. He also has been a part of the most wins in San Francisco history over the course of his career. Obviously, yeah. things change based on the setup last year. If you play during the COVID year, you get the opportunity to play again. Hannibal misses on the inside off the tip. San Francisco and Murray State tied at 73. And 
Bouye, his last game against Gonzaga, the last game they played, Ian, he was one of 11 from the floor. Bouye goes behind the back with it. Nice Stefanini, the drive, foul was called out front. Basket wouldn't have counted. Foul is on the floor. So it's Hannibal, and that's number five. That is immense. Sure is. It Trey sure Hannibal. Is. There have been times in this game where he has taken over when necessary. 18 points, six rebounds coming off the bench tonight, but a lot of playing time because of the injury to Carter Collins. Just too shy of his career high. What a great game. But more importantly, I think, too, Ian, it takes that drive, that strength going to the basket that's always important to get to the free throw line, especially in overtime games. Stefanini puts San Francisco up by one. Murray State comes in, ranked 20th in the top 25 poll. They were as high as 19 this season at 30 and two. And two of their important guards out. Hannibal just now exiting, and we talked about Collins with two minutes off the clock in this game with an ankle injury. 24 years since the Don's last appearance in the NCAA tournament. They've got a two-point lead in overtime. It rims in for K.J. Williams. And we're knotted up at 75 apiece. That ends a 10-0 San Francisco run. Yeah, not the easiest shot either along that baseline with the left hand. Bouye brings it back. Shake and bake. Bouye bakes it home. Simply amazing at the way he controls the basketball and his body without letting his feet hit the ground in terms of getting his shot off. What a timing specialist. From Seaside, California, he puts San Francisco up by two. Hill, lob it up. Catch made underneath, Burns, kick out. That's shot clock at eight. Thought that there was to Williams, that lob. Brown, jumper, got it! It's a three! Players who are supposed to take over for their respective teams are starting to step it up here. Brown, Bouye, Williams. And it's <laughs> Bouye making it look so easy for San Francisco. <laughs> He's looking over to his fans to our left. They're enjoying the show. 31 points, 22 since halftime. 78 Murray State points, 79 San Francisco points, and we've got three minutes to go in OT. Out on the perimeter, Burns hands to Hill. Hard drive. Oh, oh, excuse me! The layup goes for Justice Hill, and he's got an issue. Trying to get up off the floor, five on four. Bouye, the man advantage. Yeah. Hill, he's looking for somebody to help him down there, calling a timeout. And Justice Hill. It may be an indicator of a cramp yep. right there. Yeah, certainly feels that way. Yep. Watch how fast this ball gets out of his hands. He doesn't even really get off the floor but an inch or so. And a timeout called. We check in with Jamie. Yeah, towards the ends of regulation, as Murray State was actually bringing the ball up in a slow half-court set, Juice Hill was trying to stretch his calves as he was walking. So this has been an ongoing issue for him, that cramping, and now he's getting help on the sideline. This is their third guard, too, by the way. That's right. No Carter Collins, ankle injury. Trey Hannibal has fouled out and Justice Hill is in some pain trying to stretch him out Deontay Bostic is an option and he will check in there is Carter Collins who we saw early but an ankle injury when he was all by himself the ankle just yeah, buckled that, that was a shame the way that happened San Francisco with a one point lead and now a freshman is handling it, Bostic. Paired with a sophomore in the backcourt, Daquan Smith. Some big time minutes right now with 2.30 left. Bostic nearly lost it. Brown, ball fake. The shimmy, the bucket, and the foul. Tevin Brown with a big one. They came within a fraction of losing that possession before they regathered to make something happen with this. Here's the almost turnover, and then all of a sudden the step in by Bouye and a follow by Brown. Big time step up by both of those players challenging one another. And just as Hill is back in, he's going to give it a go. Yeah, sometimes those cramps don't go away that quickly, though. 
17 points, seven rebounds for Brown. This was on the drive, and there might have been yeah, a misstep be there. Two-point lead for Murray State. We approach two minutes to go in OT. Bouye using the screen from Tape. I think he thinks he can get his shot off. He's going to take it. Oh! <laughs> Bouye is not human! My goodness. What a step-up performance. 84-83. 36 points for Jamari Bouye. And I think Brown is thinking the same exact thing, that when he gets the ball within striking distance, I think he's going to go, too. Smith on the outside, 10 to shoot. A lot of motion, a lot of action. Hill, shot clock winding down. Finds Williams for the bucket and the foul. Haymakers being thrown on each end. Hill with the delivery that trip, too. The foul is on Tape, and that's the quota. Look at the hesitation, the little pump. Go to the middle of the floor. And here's the other one where he's thinking, yeah, I can shoot it. Look at that shot. Just picture perfect. Great camera angle to see the arc on that basketball. Jamari Bouye living in logo land. Tape <laughs> is done for the night with 10 points. And they miss a physical presence on the inside, both offensively and defensively, for San Francisco. Boy, this has been some day we've been treated to. 18 lead changes, and Murray State can tack on one more. Yeah, the line. Shooting a free throw. 70% free throw shooter, but he's logged a bunch of minutes. Yeah, you get tired at the end of these games. There's a little bit of a takedown over there. It is. And it's going to be Burns. Yep. With a minute 33 to play in overtime. And that's number five for DJ Burns. Oh boy, yeah. they're both going after the basketball. And Meeks ended up on the ground. So Jordan Skipper Brown will check in. Zane Meeks at the free throw line, his first attempt of the night. 72% shooter. Well, it's given him a big lift into tonight's game. He has 11 points. He was actually scoreless in 20, 28 minutes over his last four. So you talk about a guy coming out of a scoreless streak. Rishwain, Tape fouled out. Hannibal Burns have fouled out. Williams, the rebound off the miss by Meeks. We're tied at 85 with 126 to play. And here's where they have those three options. Down to Williams in the post. Back in, Williams. Oh, oh baby, Boy. KJ Williams delivers. That is a beauty. I love the call, too. It's a quick isolation on the blocks. Another simple delivery and pass. Murray State up by two. One minute to play in overtime. Shabazz drives in. Off balance, it doesn't go. And the rebound gathered by Skipper Brown. He was looking for a call just then, too, with the body action. Straight up defense right now. Good time for a stop for San Francisco. Justice Hill handles it with 40 seconds left. His team up by two. Brown splits defenders, drives in, couldn't finish, put home! Skipper Brown inside! Huge bucket! Bouye off the rim, no. Popped up in the air. Controlled by Meeks. Good and a foul. Two-point game and a chance to cut it to one. The beauty of what happened just then on that possession is that everybody on San Francisco knew that Bouye was going to shoot the basketball, so they all funneled into the middle of the floor trying to look for rebounds for a miss, and they found one. Wow, terrific effort right here by Meeks to get that to go. And a timeout taken. Hill 
is being helped off the floor by two of his teammates and he crumbles to the ground needing assistance from athletic trainer Eric Frederick and company. Ryan, I know I'm an old timer but I had those my freshman year where you would get double cramps at one time and when they came on there was just nothing you could do to stop it. You try to massage it out as best you can and that's what they're trying to do right now. You get back up you say you know what I feel pretty good. I start running again and they start coming back at you and it's a complete team effort trying to get Justice Hill back into the game. Twenty one point nine to play more from Jamie. I and like I said before when this whole thing started with him at the end of regulation it was his calves. Now the teammates are working all the way up the leg to both sides on the quad. So yep. as Jimmy just pointed out not only can this thing move from one side to the next but it's moving up his legs as overtime progresses. Murray State 89 San Francisco 87. His Brown down the middle of the floor with his drive. Beautiful follow up just then by Skipper Brown and look at Meeks going to work. And he goes to the line also. Zane Meeks with a free throw. There is Justice Hill out near midcourt. St. Peter's waiting in the second round after the overtime victory against the number two seed in the East Kentucky. Meeks, sophomore. Off the mark. Got to go after him. 18 seconds left. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Wasting a lot of time. And a timeout called with 15.7 on the clock. Tevin Brown got hemmed in with two defenders. Justice Hill limps to the huddle and then squats down. Just looking for some relief. I was looking for a quick foul there, weren't you? Yes. They elected to trap. Time came off the clock. And Matt McMahon decided to take a timeout, regroup. It allows San Francisco to discuss it as well. The Dons are out of timeouts. Murray State has one remaining, 15.7 on the clock. Murray State just trying to get to the finish line. Injuries. Players that have fouled out. And Matt McMahon just looking for live bodies to get this done. Yeah, San Francisco clearly has the foul. And I, and I put out one thing right here. You see that possession arrow goes to San Francisco. What I would be doing is I wouldn't be coming hammering people. What I'd be coming, i try to do is I would use two hands to reach at their chest to try to get my hands on the ball. Aggressive. Yeah, and if they call a foul, that's what I want them to do anyway. But if I could kind of get my hands in there, a lot of people don't think about putting the possession arrow in play right here, but I think it's a big point. It'd be going to be interesting to see how Hill reacts right here if he can get to the ball. And now they have a full 10 seconds to get it across yeah. because of that timeout right. called by Matt McMahon. Two point lead for Murray State. 15.7 on the clock. Obviously can't move on the sideline. Smith trying to find the open man. He does. Skipper Brown gives it back for Smith and a foul called with 13.7. Pretty smart play too to get Skipper Brown while he had that ball. 44% free throw shooter. And it's Skipper Brown going to the free throw line. Nice little set there wide open. I don't know where his man was. They were trying to double team or no that Meeks was protecting the glass. I think he had to come up on that play. So Bouye had the presence of mind to take a chop at Jordan yeah. Skipper Brown instead of Daquan Smith who's an 81 percent right. shooter. It's all about percentages. Murray stayed up by two. Free throw is good. He is now six of nine at the free throw line and trying to make this a two possession game. <laughs> Murray State wow. up by four. 13.7 to play. Coonan gets it in. They don't have a lot of time no, here. They they got to go faster than this. Shabazz, eight seconds, seven seconds, fires. Off the rim, no! Rebound, Murray 
Murray State. And a foul called with 1.8. Ninety one eighty seven Murray State in front. San Francisco took a lot of time here looking for a shot. Shabazz made a big one at the end of regulation and, and they, couldn't stick that yeah, one. Exactly. Skipper Brown to seal it. Eleven points, ten rebounds for the grad transfer from Eastern Illinois. A terrific season for the Dons. It's going to end in overtime in Indianapolis. And another reminder, March is here, and it's glorious. <laughs> Murray State Woo. racing into the second round with an overtime victory against San Francisco. The seven seed got a serious scare from San Francisco, but the Dons fall short. Murray State advances to play St. Peter's in the second round of the East Region. 92-87, your final. Well, this one wasn't that difficult to predict that we were going to have a good game. It started out very intense, and it just went the entire game. It is, of course, the 7-15 matchup, as everybody predicted on Saturday in Indianapolis. The celebration underway for Matt McMahon and company. Not sure that's a body bump that he wants from Hannibal. <laughs> he doesn't want a second one, that's for sure. Let's send it over to Jamie. Coach, you told us yesterday that your team had an incredible will to win. How far deep did they have to dig to get this one in the bag? That's our team right there. It's my fault. I didn't do them justice the last couple minutes of regulation. But they just find a different way to win. Foul trouble. Uh, man, how about Bouye? He was unbelievable. And our guys just kept fighting and scrapping. And uh, what a blessing. We're on to the round of 32. You had four players in double figures. What does that speak to how your season unfolded and why you needed that tonight? Hey, we have some dudes now. I mean, KJ Williams, Trey Hannibal, Juice Hill, Tevin Brown. I can go down the list. These guys can play anywhere in America. So I'm really happy for them, really happy for their families, and especially happy for our fan base. And I saw Hannibal almost took you out during the celebration, so I'll let you go continue that. Bad, bad deal. I'll never win that battle. <laughs> Congratulations. Jamie Murray State in 2019 got a win in the first round behind a masterful performance from John Morant over Marquette, but they lost to Florida State in the second round. They're going to have their opportunity on Saturday against St. Peter's. Overtime win for the Racers. Tournament coverage on CBS begins tomorrow at noon. For Jim Snorkel, Jamie Erdahl, Gene Steratore, Ian Eagle saying so long from Indianapolis.